Hello and welcome to this presentation covering Dell EMC SC Series and VMware vSphere integrations. Dell EMC provides a robust set of tools for storage administrators to deploy, configure, and manage SC Series arrays. For customers with VMware vSphere software-defined data centers, management of SC Series arrays becomes even easier and more seamless through a wide variety of Dell-developed VMware integrations. The goal of this video is to introduce each of the integrations and provide a brief overview for our customers. Technical deep dives for each of these integrations goes into much more detail and is available from Dell Tech Center. The first item that I'm going to cover is the Dell Storage Integration Tools for VMware, or DSITV for short. DSITV is an OVF appliance available for free download from Dell and can be deployed in the VMware vSphere data center. The idea behind the appliance is to simplify availability and deployment of Dell storage integrations for VMware. The DSITV appliance contains three separate integrations. The VASA 1.0 provider or vSphere API for storage awareness, the VMware vSphere web client plugin, and Replay Manager services for VMware. Customers may download and deploy as many DSITV appliances as their vSphere environment calls for. One of our most popular integrations to date is the Dell Storage vSphere Web Client plugin. Although Dell Storage Manager provides all the capabilities needed to manage SC Series arrays on a day-to-day -day basis, it's really a tool that's tailored for the storage administrator role. The Web Client plugin provides many of the same management capabilities that DSM does, but it's tailored for VMware vSphere administrators, and the UI is presented in a single pane of glass from within the vSphere Web Client. All of the common day-to-day -day management activities that would be performed in DSM can be performed using the Web Client plugin. Examples would include managing data stores and RDMs, managing snapshots, managing replications and live volumes, even initializing host and cluster objects within DSM. Aside from the management tasks, the Web Client plugin also provides raw storage utilization and performance statistics. As mentioned in the previous slide, the Web Client plugin is bundled within the DSITV appliance, which is a free download from Dell. VRealize Operations Manager provides health, risk, and efficiency dashboarding for the VMware vSphere virtualized data center. The power behind VRealize Operations Manager lies within its patented analytics engine. The analytics engine is fed stats and alerts from vCenter server. The stats and alerts encompass native vSphere data center objects, such as virtual machines, hosts, clusters, CPUs, networks, data stores, and related things of that nature. Another powerful attribute of vRealize Operations Manager is its extensible plugin architecture. This allows VMware partners to develop management packs which plug into vRealize Operations Manager. Dell provides a management pack for SC Series arrays. With the management pack installed and configured, not only will vRealize Operations Manager focus on native vSphere objects, but it will now have visibility of SC series array specific objects, such as controllers, disks, volumes, tiers, RAID levels, latency, performance, and all other kinds of data that is collected by Dell Storage Manager. The Dell Storage stats and alerts are collected and fed to the analytics engine so that dynamic baselining can be performed. In addition, dashboards are created containing both vSphere native objects as well as Dell storage objects for correlation purposes. With the management pack installed, vRealize Operations Manager can provide health, risk, and efficiency calculations for both vSphere and Dell SC series storage. The next integration that I'll talk about is the Windows PowerShell command set and Dell Storage Manager API. Technically, these are two separate but similar integrations. Both contain powerful PowerShell commandlets for managing SC series arrays. The Windows PowerShell command set is a legacy product containing 105 storage center specific PowerShell commandlets. 
The Windows PowerShell command set is used to log into and manage SC series arrays separately. The DSM API is our newer offering and contains nearly 1,200 storage center specific PowerShell commandlets. The DSM commandlets were developed to work with the Dell Storage Manager API and all of the SC series arrays that that Dell Storage Manager data collector manages. This gives the DSM API commandlets a leg up in terms of federated management of SC series storage through scripting. Just about all of the management tasks that can be performed through Dell Storage Manager can be accessed through the DSM API PowerShell commandlets. For larger environments, this provides a great deal of consistency and efficiency through PowerShell scripting. In addition to just storage management, SC series commandlets can be combined with PowerCLI to provide end-to-end -end scripted workflows for a vSphere data center with SC series storage. In addition to storage management, the commandlets can also be used for storage reporting. Dell Storage Manager has traditionally been used by storage administrators to perform federated management and reporting of SC series arrays within and across data centers. With the tool having that ability, combined with the APIs exposed by both VMware and Dell EMC, DSM serves as a central point for many of the VMware integrations. To name a few, the vSphere Web Client Plugin, vRealize Operations Manager, Site Recovery Manager, vSphere Metro Storage Cluster, Virtual Volumes, or vVols, and VASA, which I'll talk about in an upcoming API section. VMware exposes a number of APIs in which its partners can integrate with. The first one I'll talk about is vStorage APIs for Array Integration, or its shortened version vAAI. The vStorage APIs remove the storage-related burden from vSphere hosts and the fiber channel or Ethernet fabric, allowing SC series arrays to handle that workload, which they are purposely designed and built for. SC series arrays support all four block primitives, which I'll talk in a bit more detail about next. When a storage vMotion or VM deployment from a template is requested, the copy offload primitive allows the storage array to perform the bulk copy operations. Without the primitive, the vSphere host manages the copy operation on a per I.O. basis on the fabric. With the primitive enabled, significant gains in efficiency are made. The infrastructure can scale further and the operation is generally complete more quickly. The block zeroing primitive is associated with the creation of eager zeroed thick virtual disks. Without the primitive, the vSphere host is responsible for writing zeros throughout the virtual disk at the time of creation. With the primitive enabled, the SC series array handles this task resulting in the creation of virtual machines with eager zero thick disk almost instantly. There are a number of virtual infrastructure operations which result in the need to create, delete, or grow a file on a VMFS data store. When a need like this occurs, vSphere needs to obtain an exclusive lock on the storage in order to write changes to metadata. Without the hardware-assisted locking primitive, the entire data store is locked. Although this happens quickly and large scale, this can introduce VM latency across the virtual infrastructure. However, with the primitive enabled, the locking mechanism occurs at the granular metadata level instead of a global data store level. This efficiency eliminates the latency impact of surrounding VMs in the infrastructure. The fourth block primitive is designed for thin provisioning and it is made up of two components, unmap and stun. When virtual machines are deleted or moved from one data store to another, or when data is deleted within a virtual machine with a supporting guest operating system, the blocks of storage they were using previously remained pinned by the vSphere host, although they are not currently in use. Without the primitive, this results in storage that was thinly provisioned and space efficient early on, but throughout the life cycle of the virtual machines, the thin efficiency gradually erodes as the high watermark of consumed storage that is not surrendered continues to rise. With the supported primitive enabled, the blocks of storage once used by an evacuated virtual machine are returned to the page pool for use by other storage hosts. The other component, stun, enables the SE series array to send a stun command to virtual machines requesting additional blocks of storage after an available capacity threshold has been crossed. 
The stun command gracefully pauses the virtual machine and its applications until such time additional capacity can be added to the array. SC series arrays support both on map and stun. SC series arrays also support VASA or vSphere APIs for storage awareness. Dell EMC offers a VASA 1.0 provider in both the DSITV appliance as well as Dell Storage Manager. The VASA 1.0 provider conveys underlying storage capabilities beyond just capacity information to vCenter Server for the vSphere administrator. Given this visibility, vSphere administrators can develop VM storage policies and make more informed decisions regarding the storage placement of virtual machines across the infrastructure. After deployment or migration of virtualized applications and services, vSphere will track compliance with respect to the assigned VM storage policy. Dell EMC's VASA 2.0 provider ships with Dell Storage Manager and is a key integration for supporting VMware virtual volumes or VVOLs. The VASA 2.0 provider built into DSM is in the control or management path of virtual volumes. Although powered on virtual machines with VVOLs will maintain uptime if for some reason the VASA 2.0 provider is unavailable, all operations related to management of VVOLs will not. For this reason, DSM and its backend database should be made both highly available and recoverable and should not be deployed on VVOLs for which it is a VASA provider for. Also required for VVOL integration are protocol endpoints. One protocol endpoint per vSphere host per storage controller is automatically created by the SC series array. The protocol endpoint is a unique 512 byte block device presented to each vSphere host, which acts as a multiplexer for all I.O. intended for the VVOLs. In this final section, we'll focus on snapshot and replication related integrations. The first of which is a product called Replay Manager. There is a variety of methods a customer can rely on to create SC series array based snapshots of volumes. A few of them I mentioned in this presentation, such as the vSphere Web Client plugin, PowerShell Commandlets, and Dell Storage Manager. Some of these methods create snapshots without considering transactions that may be in mid flight or other volumes on the array which contain stateful data for an application. The result is a snapshot which contains what we call crash consistent data. Depending on the application, these methods may be perfectly suitable. However, some use cases may call for application consistent data within or across volumes. That's where Replay Manager comes in. Replay Manager presents an application specific UI allowing administrators to build set it and forget a data protection array based snapshots for VMware virtualized applications within or across data stores. In addition, Replay Manager integrates with vSphere snapshots so that Microsoft VSS Aware applications can be quiesced, resulting in application consistent snapshots. After the snapshots are created and retained, Replay Manager offers methods to quickly recover VM or file level data from a snapshot in a space efficient manner using view volumes. As I mentioned, in an earlier slide, Replay Manager services for VMware are shipped in the DSITV appliance. The appliance itself is a free download, however, Replay Manager is a licensed product. For disaster recovery needs, SC Series Arrays support VMware vCenter Site Recovery Manager using any and all types of array based asynchronous and synchronous replication, as well as live volume. The Dell EMC developed Storage Replication Adapter, or SRA, is installed on each SRM server, while the Array Manager resides within Dell Storage Manager. The SC Series Arrays support SRM in conjunction with both active-passive as well as active-active architectures, VMFS data stores, raw device mappings, as well as live volume stretch storage. We also support a unique feature called Selectable Snapshot. Given the variety of replication offered by SC Series Arrays, we may have frozen snapshots replicated to the DR site, we may have synchronously replicated volumes, or both. On a per volume basis, Selectable Snapshot allows the SRM administrator to control the behavior of the storage that is mounted at the DR site when an SRM recovery plan is executed. 
In some cases, this may be a view volume from a replicated snapshot. In other cases, it may be a volume replica from a synchronous replication. The selectable snapshot feature is built into and configured in Dell Storage Manager. The last integration I'll talk about is Live Volume. The array-based replication feature itself has been available in SC Series arrays for quite a number of years and serves a variety of use cases such as plan migrations, resource balancing, scale-out capacity adds, and disaster avoidance. However, with the addition of Live Volume Automatic Failover, it has evolved as an integration point to support vSphere Metro Storage Cluster. Whereas standard replication types support DSM or SRM activated disaster recovery plans, a VMware certified vSphere Metro Storage Cluster supports high availability and zero downtime of virtualized applications and services from compute, network, and storage perspectives. With automatic failover, a stretch cluster can satisfy not only proactive use cases, but reactive use cases as well, with the ability to meet more aggressive recovery time objectives, or RTOs. For more detailed information on these and other integrations, please visit Dell Tech Center, where you'll find a large assortment of best practice documents, videos, and reference architectures. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing Dell EMC.